do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We got a really quick tutorial today for PS3 CF, CFW users, and that is how to spoof your system to 4.87. So in my particular case, I'm running 4.84.2 uh, DEX from Rebug, and we'll see in a second here when I go to system information, it clearly states 4.84, right? But now if I were to go to Rebug Toolbox, uh, we'll also see that yes, I am still 4.84. Just as a, you know, information only. Um, so once we see that, just FYI, you don't have to do this, but this is just me trying to be more thorough for this tutorial here. In the meantime, go to the video description. There's a send enabler link. You can go ahead, download the package file, put it on a USB thumb drive, format as FAT32, plug into your right USB port. And now using the package manager, we can install that file. So here I'm installing from USB, the send enabler version 6.2.7. Once it is installed, it's going to show up as a GT Academy 2013. So my example here is going to be at the top of my list. Go ahead, run the program, uh, press X once you're in the program to get started. Eventually, there'll be a section where it says, um, we'll see in a second here, it's like PSN, send slash PSN options, enable send access, press X, watch the progress bar, do its thing. After a while, it's going to reach 100%, and then it's going to ask you to restart, so go ahead and restart. I do have other tutorials in the past of how to use a DEX system online and how to hard code your region with like Webman Mod, for example. So go ahead, check that out if you don't know how to use a DEX system already. If you're a HEN user, like if you're using a PlayStation 3 uh, 3K model or higher, I don't have that model, so I'm sure that the video tutorial will be different. So this video is more meant for users who can run actual native a CFW. So once you are um, spoof your system, then from there you can go ahead and run programs like Multiman, Monitor Game, and then PSN um, Ninja, and then also PSN Patch and then log in online. So what we're going to do first is let's just double check to make sure the spoof works. So you go to the left here, go down to uh, system settings, right? Go down to system, and we see that my system is 4.87, just like expected. And just for grins here, we can go back to Rebug Toolbox. Totally optional. I'm just showcasing that my system technically is still 4.84 DEX. It's just been spoofed to 4.87, right? So what we're going to do here is go ahead, back out, go back to X and B, and then just show you an example where if you wanted to, you can go ahead, let's pretend that you already mounted your game, Webman Mod or Multiman. And then from there, you can go ahead and run uh, what I always like to do is run um, PSN, PS Ninja first, and then secondly, I run PSN Patch. You want more details on how that works, please refer to my older video tutorials. And then once you've done all that stuff, you can go ahead, log in online, which I've not done on this particular PS3 yet to date. So that is today's quick PS3 tutorial, how to spoof to 4.87. And in the future, if there's newer firmware updates, make sure to get the latest send enabler. At that point in time, I'm sure that will help you spoof to the latest version as well. So if there are any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.